to many, the lure of the open road, the dream of the RV lifestyle, is irresistible. The freedom to explore the country on your own terms and at your own pace, but with all mod cons at your disposal, is, to many, the perfect way to travel and live. Well, there's nothing more frustrating than being three, four, five in the morning and you run out of power. We have to solve this power problem. Well, this company in the US might just have done so. Solar Energy Systems in northern Indiana are Victron Energy distributors and installers, undertaking full off-grid installs to all types of vehicles, enabling RV owners to enjoy the type of energy they could only get from being connected to the grid. All we do of all sorts, any sort that we can put solar panels on or any place that we have a compartment to put inverters in, you name it, we do it. Their site is a fully off-grid. When I was there, they were just putting in some final tweaks before moving 16 lithium batteries to a new dedicated power room. Along with additional solar on the roof, it's now connected. Four 10kVA Quattro inverter chargers, as well as 12 MPPT solar charge controllers, keep their offices, workshops and showroom powered 24-7 definitely does feel like we are grid tied. You never see lights flicker, everything's so seamlessly on all the time. It's pretty cool. Normally, SES's clients require only basic systems that are sufficient to satisfy their power needs. We install a lot of Victron components in all of our RVs, uh, lithium upgrades, uh, swapping out existing inverters for Victron, and that also includes any other components that we need to swap out, such as whatever controller you have, we would swap them out for the Servo GX, the GX devices. But more recently, RV owners are asking for more comprehensive upgrades to their onboard power systems, a challenge that the company is more than happy to meet. Customization is there, so if a customer wants to achieve a certain goal, we can make it happen. One such customer is Travis, CEO of an IT company in Minneapolis. Travis is painfully aware of the energy limitations that RV owners can experience. Well, the first thing you learn when you decide to go off grid or, you know, disconnect is the manufacturers of the motorhomes. Again, this is just my sense. They put in the bare minimum. We need to be able to just enjoy the air conditioning we need to be able to be online. We need to be able to sleep with my CPAP every night without worrying about it shutting off. So numero uno project, be connected or have enough power to survive for, I said 24 hours without having to run your generator. Travis's power needs are more substantial than most. He wanted a hotel level of convenience on board his cruiser, but with the freedom to roam anywhere he pleases. I'm not a camper, I'm a tourist. Big difference, so I wanna have all of the things that a hotel would have or a motel on the road and um, just enjoy a, a leisurely lifestyle but not missing out any of the modern conveniences. And I'd like to have the ability to run 24 hours. After thoroughly researching his needs and options, Travis approached Solar Energy Systems with an electrical wish list that he thought the company might struggle to fulfill. So the RV is as effectively a mobile house. So we have everything that a modern suburban home would have. You've got heating, air conditioning, refrigerators, multiple freezers. Through word of mouth recommendations and his own research, Travis came to the conclusion that there was only one brand he felt was capable of meeting his very specific requirements. Oh, you gotta love YouTube, don't you? So you, you head over to YouTube and you start researching. It didn't take very long to realize that Victron Energy was the Cadillac of, of systems out there. 
and and why was it it's modular components so you could you could build like kind of with legos you could build the elements that you wanted to provide it was scalable so you could add as many of the components as you needed to to provide the desired outcome and then wrapped around it it had the management system so again from an it perspective i can monitor it from my phone or my computer and i know exactly my power consumption my, my power creation and i can manage the system from anywhere in the world just right from my cell phone so what setup did travis and ses come up with to meet the needs of his power hungry home on wheels we have almost 4,000 amp hours of battery on board. We've got uh, 14 200 watt solar panels on the roof. So we got 2,800 watts of solar. And that's all tied into two Quattro uh, 5,000, 48 volt is, is what we have. And then all managed by the Servo GX uh, right here, uh, connected to the internet. And I might've gone a little overboard. So had it unplugged for three days and I was still at 52% utilization. Not only was SES able to meet Travis's requirements, the capability of the powerful new Victron system now installed means that Travis can quite literally live and work from his power hungry RV coach in any climate at any time of the year and at a standard of living previously undreamed of by RV owners. Oh, it's night and day. You wake up in the morning, the temperature is nice and consistent in the coach. You make a cup of coffee, which by the way, making a cup of coffee with my prior system, alarms would be going off and I'd have to start the generator. I'm looking out the window, wondering am I gonna disturb anybody with the generator? Now I just get up, make coffee, throw something in the microwave to turn the TV. I don't even think about it anymore. It's, it, it's the quality of life is exponentially better with the Victron platform than it was prior. So I would interface with our sales rep, Tim, about once a week. He'd give me updates, send me pictures. Uh, we would talk through things. I would ask him if I could add more batteries, you know, things like that. And, and uh, the working relationship has been spectacular. And, that, you know, like in anything that this, that's this complicated, uh, there's been a few little things that we've, we've worked through, but the support team has, I mean, they're answering my emails at 10 at night. I mean, it's, it's, they're an amazing group of people down here. Thanks to the capacity and versatility of his new onboard Victron system, Travis is far more confident in taking his RV further afield and for longer trips than he had previously thought possible. So if we're in very cold climates where we run the, the burner a little bit more at night or the heated floors, um, that's going to consume more. If we're in a temperate climate, I'm going to get a lot more runtime. And then I believe, which we'll find out this winter, when we're in a warm climate in the southern United States, when we're running the air conditioner, that uh, will the consumption will be higher. So right now I'm anticipating in any of those scenarios, the minimum we can run is about 22 hours. And then we have the generator to back up. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to need to plug in again, quite frankly. So I keep up with a lot of my customers and they always send me updates from now and then about all the adventures they have out there with the Victron system. A number of the large coaches and RVs like the one Travis uses has the Silverleaf electronics monitoring. Now Victron Energy and Silverleaf can integrate with each other. Victron inverters, batteries and even tank levels can be shown within the Silverleaf control panel and it also allows tank data to be sent back to the Victron GX device allowing all the information to be put on the Victron remote management system. Travis's motto is buy cheap, buy twice and now he has a mobile energy solution that he believes will outlive his ownership of his RV. That's a lot of kilowatt hours and a lot of miles down the road. Oh,